Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Darren and today we're going to be looking at the VJ Max. I've had this now for about three or four weeks, knocked up over 60 miles on varied terrain and I have found the shoe to be really, really good. We're going to get into all the nuts and crannies of it in just a second, but let's take a quick look at what the shoe looks like close up. So VJ are a Finnish company formed in the early 1980s and they started out by making orienteering shoes. They went over into trail running only recently-ish and it all began, I believe, with the iRock, which is a cracking little fell shoe. I've been wearing this for the last couple of years and while it doesn't offer a lot of comfort and forgiving cushioning, it is cracking on the grip. And that is one of VJ's mottos, best grip on the planet. I really found that to be the case, by far the best grip I've ever ran in on the fells around North Yorkshire and they seem to have transferred that into the Max. Slightly different shoe, it's got more cushioning in the midsole, very much like the Scott Supertrack RC which many of you will know, um, but there's a lot of variances from that. Whereas the Scott Supertrack RC has that radial pattern which gives you the grip on rock, actually VJ have gone for a butyl rubber which is the same as the iRock. Now the lugs may not look that aggressive but do not be deceived. I have found these to be sticky as hell. Even to touch now it is sticking to my finger and I think that is the quality that gives it the grip on these technical courses. It handles mud fairly well as well. Uh, so the grip all around I find to be fantastic. If you're in the middle of winter and it's deep slippery mud, of course you're gonna struggle. However, these are more of a trail shoe, mountain, sky running, uh, that's, that's more of its niche. Like I say, I'm going to be wearing it for the Wayne Stones, the Hardmore's Wayne Stones Marathon. That's a real rocky course, got a mixture of trails on it, and it's 28 and a half miles long. So I do need the comfort, and it's in that midsole that we're going to get that. It's got a 6mm drop. It works well with insoles. I've tried it with insoles. Brings up the, um, the arch of the foot quite well, and they're fitting nice and snug. But the insole it comes with is really comfortable as well anyway. That's really soft and works very well for me. So I've actually used it with both to great effect. The lacing, let's move on to that. So it's got this fit lock system, uh, which is basically a bit of plastic there that pulls and hugs the arch. Uh, works really really well you get a proper lockdown and if you do the runner's loop uh, when you tie your laces it locks in really nicely the only slight negative i found is that the tongue does run a little bit short every single person i've seen review this shoe says the same thing so if they could extend that it would be fantastic but i haven't found it to be a problem while i've been running and it's not causing me any issues they've even got some holes actually on the tongue just there so you can actually lace through these holes which stops the sideways movement so anyone who's got these and had issues with that that is how you fix it you need to lace it through these holes in the tongue it's got a full length rock plate so that gives cracking protection i've not had a single issue yet and i have been on some really rocky terrain on the wayne stones the front really well protected i've kicked a few um the other weekend when i was out with kim cavill and yeah no issues there no damage i've actually been surprised by how well these have held up in terms of durability i've only done 60 miles but like i say it's been on pretty harsh terrain and to look at them they look almost brand new bar a little bit of mud um and the grip has been fantastic you'll see some close-ups throughout this review but it's barely even battered an eyelid as yet. You get a real nice lockdown in the heel, uh, quite roomy, 
uh, there from forefront of ankle to the heel but I've not found that offers any slip or provides any problems for me personally uh, so yeah really good lockdown no real slippage when you're running and we've already mentioned that fit lock that really does secure into the arch of the foot so those who have issues with pronating uh, the rolling in of the knees like I personally do that has worked to charm I wore these out the box for a 22 mile run um, without my insoles in for the first time in years and I didn't have a problem I was perfectly fine with them so there's definitely some good arch support in these I would say in terms of cushioning um, you're probably going to be looking at up to a marathon I'm not sure how comfortable I'll be going up to an ultra you know up towards the 40 five to 55 and above mark is probably going to be pushing your luck a little bit so i would definitely just stick up to the marathon and a little bit over maybe 50k but that's where the vj ultra comes in which is coming out very soon that one's going to be a cracking wider fit shoe and that brings me on to my next point those who have used vj before may be concerned by how narrow the shoe is this is the iroc the extreme is very similar as well. They are very, very narrow around the forefoot and uh, they do taper off towards the toe. Big difference. It's much, much wider, as you can see. And I actually find these, especially in the toe box, to be wider than the Scott Super Track RC, which is about the only shoe I've ever been fully comfortable in. These, I would say, are now overtaking the RC for me. To be honest, I will be wearing these going forward. Uh, so really good width there. And the Ultra is actually even wider than that. So if you're wanting a shoe for those longer distances, comfort, and you have issues with wide feet, the Ultra is definitely worth looking at and I will be reviewing that one very soon as well. So to summarise, what do I like? Um, I love the grip, absolutely love that. I love the wider fit, the room in the toe box, the fit lock system works really well. This butyl, butyl rubber is fantastic. Um, an all round comfort. Really impressed with how good this Kevlar is and how well it holds up um, the material on the sides as well. The rubber is really well um, knitted together. I don't seem to be seeing any fraying at all after the 60 miles and I think these are really going to stand um, the test of time. Only real negatives, like I said, are the running short of the tongue. Um, other than that, I really can't fault it and I cannot wait to see what the Ultra is going to be like. So that concludes my review of the VJ Max. Can't wait to review the Ultra. I'm hoping to get that in the next couple of weeks. So if you subscribe to the channel, you won't miss it. Make sure you do that. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.